Hey, sorry. Plan was to be dressed before you got back from the diner. No, I, I, I have to go to the diner. Turns out they have coffee at the office for free. Oh. Uh, this one's yours. Thanks. So, um, who are you talking to on the phone? Uh, I was talking to Bo. How's he doing? He sounded great. He was at the Buenos Dias having breakfast. Who knew that a few weeks ago he'd be up and around already? It's pretty amazing, huh? Yeah, amazing. I'm sorry about Cole. It's gotta be rough on you and Hope. She really misses her daddy. How's Cole holding up? I don't know. When I went to visit him, he wasn't in his cell, but I can't believe that they won't let him out on bail. There has to be something that I can do. What did you have in mind? I don't know, maybe I could talk to the judge or something, write him a letter. Look, if you go talk to the judge, I could go with you if you want to be like the extra character witness. Thanks, Matthew, but I think that I should talk to you more about this first. You know, son, <clears throat> why don't we give him a minute, okay? Yeah. Excuse me. Thanks. I'd love to get Cole out of jail. I really would, believe me. I think there's only one way to do it, though. What's that? Well, it's gonna be hard on you, sweetie, but the only way to get Cole out of prison is if you can prove that your father bribed that judge. showed up, but I guess they couldn't stick around. I hope she didn't go see her father again. I don't want to talk about Tom Maine right now, okay? I don't either, but I have no choice. Why? He threatened to kill me last night. Just who am I hurting, Blair? Not Marty. When she flew through the air with the greatest of ease, I wasn't even there. And if you're here because you're all boo-hoo about Cole not making bail, then well, that's not on me either. I didn't pay that judge a dime. So if you're here to plead his case... I'm not. I don't, I don't want to hear your case either. I'm not going to take sides, especially yours. You know I've done that before, and it's never paid off. I don't need your side. I've got Star. At least she believes me. Oh, well, let's cue the violin, Give me my phone, please. We? No, I'm not going to give you the phone. Where'd you get this anyway? Who smuggled this in for you, huh? Nobody. I didn't have to have it smuggled. You convinced your daughter to give it to you? Great. Okay, I have another question. Who is the uh, psycho nympho that you're plotting against? Why don't you ask Cole? He's the one fooling around with her. What are you talking about? His friend, Hannah? His friend, Hannah. They're not friends. Star knows it and I know it. That's why she lied to the police. Oh, you're keeping this paranoid fantasy alive, aren't no, you? No, it's not fantasy. It's not paranoia. She was just here, just in this room, trying to make a deal with me. What kind of a deal? Uh, she said she'd change the story about seeing me push Marty if I dropped the charges against Cole. You serious? So would you please hand me my phone? Looks like I'm in charge of my own defense now that Taya's driven off the road. Yeah, why don't you leave Taya alone? She's got bigger things to deal with right now. That's what she said. What's going on with her? Oh, what do you mean you know I'm in trouble? Well, if Todd can get the death penalty for killing an unborn baby, Makes your job a lot harder. <laughs> You're right, it does. No, you didn't have to defend him, Mom. That was your choice. I have to get to school. Daniela, wait. No, I can't. I'll be late. Uh, please. I'll, I'll give you a note. This, this is more important than school. Okay. How's it going? What's up, Nate? Who's that guy? Some kid from school. We're working on the play together. Um, what role does he play? Cole. Danny's playing star. They have a lot of scenes together. Is that a problem for you? <sighs> My dad did not bribe that judge. He promised me that he didn't, and I believed him. Just like I believe that he did not push Marty. 
forgot that was in there. I'm sorry, I didn't mean for you to... You, you bought this? Yeah, it's baseball season. Sometimes I do crazy things. I saw that T-shirt and I started picturing... What would it be like with the three of us? I didn't mean to upset you. I'm sorry. Oh, gosh, you don't need to apologize. We didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, well, you don't need any reminders right now. It's not like we can get away with from it, you know? The loss is always there. Emptiness is the first feeling I get when I wake up in the morning. That little life is gone. Well, you know, maybe we should do something about that. Maybe we should try to have another baby.